My guests today say the fire in their relationship is burning out. Please welcome Amanda to the show. She says she doesn't know why she's here. Amanda, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I've been with my boyfriend for about eight and a half months. Yeah. And when I first met him, it was I fell head over heels for him. Were you okay? <laughs> and yeah. I've just I've been I've been cheated on every boyfriend that I've had. And I mean, I kind of figured being on this show, something bad's probably oh. happened. Well, we don't know yet. Uh, so you've been with eight months ago. You met him. And your first reaction was, where did you meet him? We met through MySpace, through a mutual friend. <laughs> and then we actually met at the bowling alley. At, okay, so you met him at the bowling alley, and you saw him there. Was he or, did he already have his shoes on, and he was ready to bowl? No, no he wasn't bowling. Oh, he wasn't bowling. He was just there. At, it's a hangout place, mm -hmm. I see. So you go there, and you see him, and was it like, wow? Yeah, I pretty much knew I was going to love him. I fell to my knees when I seen him. <laughs> Don't you usually spend more time with a person before oral sex? I mean, what? <laughs> oh, you mean, I'm sorry. You mean you just like were overwhelmed by that. I'm sorry. So, uh, oh, so you, you met him, you dropped to your knees, said, wow, this guy's everything. And... When did he start being something other than what you thought he'd be? Um, I'd say maybe about two weeks ago. He's just, I mean, he's constantly talking to other females. He's just, oh. he has too many female friends, and I don't trust females at all. They're sneaky. I can't yeah. stand them. All right. Uh, well, let's find out. Let's bring him out here, uh, and I hope it works out for you. Here's your friend, here's your boyfriend, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hi, Jerry. Well, um, Amanda, I've brought, here, brought you here because, um, well, I never tell you I love you because I really don't. <laughs> and you're trying to make this relationship move way too fast, and you're making it way too serious, way too fast for me. And you're really clingy, and you try to control me and tell me that Oh, I can talk to these people. I can t hang out with these people. And I told you at the beginning that I do have a lot of female friends. And really? Yeah, I mean, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, uh, you're, you're trying to make me a father figure to your daughter. And I am not your daughter's father. And I never want to be. And um, you're kind of pushing me away with this. And you're, you're really not my type. You're kind of fat. And. Oh. Uh, a second, hold on. Oh, I'm Why fat, would but, you... I've been, but you've been with me for eight and a half months. Wait a second, she's a very attractive girl. Why would you come on the show and just insult her? If you don't love her, you don't love her, but why insult her? I mean, you know, I'm not talking here to Brad Pitt, okay? So, uh, you know, to say that about her, if, if you don't love her, you don't love her, that's fair, but, you know, I, why insult her? She's not treating you badly, is she? No, she's, she's very nice to me, but she, she, it's like she constantly is trying to make me with her all the time, and I do have, I do have, I'm young, I have, other, I, have sure. other, I have other friends that I like to hang out with and stuff like that, and she just, she constantly needs, like, needs to be around me all the time, and I'm not really that kind of... Do you sense that he finds you clingy and... I mean, what am I supposed to do? I love him, and obviously, if he's going to treat me like this, then... Does he, has he ever spoken to you like this before? Or is this just a shock to you? It, it's a shock. I would say, because I can't imagine you would want to stay with someone who would say that to you, just out of pride, self-esteem. I guess he's just like the rest of the guys that I've dated. Well, um, the reason I brought you out here is because... I've been sleeping with Amber. Do you know what? Do you know Amber? Yes. And, and who, is, who, who is this Amber? It's supposed to be his best friend. I've never had a guy treat me so good, and now he's going to do the same thing everybody else has. 
How old are you? I'm 22. Okay, you haven't met all the guys in the world, all right? So don't, whatever happens with him, don't reach conclusions on this. You're obviously meeting the wrong people, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to find a guy who wants to be with you, okay? So you hold here. You want to come back out or you're going to stay? No. Okay, you stay here. So this Amber is a friend of yours. Yes. She was led to believe that she's just a close friend, but not rom How long have you been romantically involved with Amber? Um, the first time happened about three weeks ago. Oh, okay. So, in other words, during the whole time, it was true. She was yes. just a friend. Well, let's bring her out, find out what she has to say about this. Here is Amber. I admit, I'm, I'm old. What does this mean? Rock on. Oh, rock on. <laughs> Are you ready? You want to hear a good song? Okay. <clears throat> hey, Rick. You're on Jerry today and I. I've got something to say. Your girl, she is a fat whore and I. <laughs> She's pathetic, and I just don't get it. I wanna be with you, and she does too, but I, I won't wait anymore. That song is a hell of an ending. Uh, okay, time out, hold on. Look, you're just mad because he wants to be with me and not you. you he doesn't want to be a father, you pathetic little child. Oh. Okay? <laughs> Why? Okay. Why would you be angry at her child? I mean, that's over the line. Because she's trying... pathetic. She's pathetic. No. You're trying to make him your baby's daddy? He doesn't want to be your baby's daddy. I don't want him to be, but he is a father figure to my kid. Not anymore. Not anymore. What, what do you want to say about all this? Well, um... I'm telling you, Amanda, that I'm dumping you and I want to be with, them, uh, with Amber. I know you really care about it, but do you think in looking back that maybe you were using your child as a means to kind of bring him in? No, no, I just fell in love with him and I won't bring nobody around my daughter that I'm not in love with. Well, that's smart, but it's also probably smart to make sure that the guy loves you before you bring the daughter in. Well, I thought I did. Yeah. Okay. All right, so if he doesn't want to be with you, as disappointing as that is, you don't want to be with someone that's going to treat you like that. So from your point of view, you're unhappy tonight, but it's probably not a bad idea that you, you move on your separate ways. This isn't healthy for you or your child. And you two love each other, but there's no particular reason for you to be so hostile towards her child or, you know, she loved him. It's up to him to decide who he wanted to be with. And, and he chose me. Now he's made that choice, which is fair. But I, I didn't understand when you came out with a song that ripped her. Why is that necessary? Just tell him how much you love him and then he can make a choice. You don't have to beat her down. <laughs> and he's chosen you. So you're saying you love her? Yes. We'll be back.
If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.